One of the 12 aspects that we teach the kids about basketball is to be patient. When you watch a game, you might be enthralled by the fastest paced teams. But understand that those people are professionals. Understand that the 24 second shot clock was created by the NBA for entertainment purposes. The 35 second shot clock in college or like high school, that's more on the line with how basketball should be played for the best shot. The 24 second shot clock, it's meant to just make the game crazy and to make the game fun to watch. You're not more likely to win a game because you shot fast. Now, if you look at a regular high school game or a younger kid's game, like middle school or elementary school, you'll notice this. They aren't pros. They aren't the greatest players to ever play in the entire world. Yet, they easily surpass the 24 second shot clock on every shot. And I've timed it myself. Most teams will shoot the ball within 10 seconds, which is absurd. The NBA is already too fast at 24 seconds, yet these kids are shooting the ball within eight. And what's more is their coaches having them do so and screaming along with them, go, go, go. And their parents are screaming to go even faster. There's no way that a defense is gonna break down that fast unless it's a bad team. And there's no way that you're gonna to wanna to play defense for longer than 10 seconds because playing defense is hard. No one wants to be on the defensive side. So to combat this, we have a rule of thumb, all right? And the rule of thumb is this. It goes zero, 50, 100. All right, now I love saying it like this, so bear with me. It's going somewhere. The first time that you catch the ball, you wanna shoot, pass, or drive 0% of the time. Now, when I say shoot, that means um, like shoot any shot. Pass, meaning pass for an assist. Drive, meaning to like just drive to the, to the basket and try to do something. You wanna do that on the first time that you touch the ball, you want to never do that. So 0% of the time. Now again, bear, bear with me. The second time that you touch the ball, you wanna do one of these things 50% of the time. The third time that you touch the ball, 100% of the time, shoot the ball, pass it for an assist, drive. I don't care if you shoot like an off balance shot. I don't care if you pass the ball between someone's legs. I don't care if you just drive into like five people. You can go at that pace. The third time that you catch the ball in an offensive possession, okay? Because the first time that you touch it, you might be open. Second time that you touch it, you're probably gonna be more open. The third time that you touch it, you're gonna be like probably wide open. Within the scheme of a good offense, that's as much time as it'll take to make you wide open, all right? So be patient in that regard. Now, you can break this rule five times. You can break this rule five times. You can come down the court and just chuck the first three three that you see. It can be the first play of the game, I don't care. All right, you can, you can shoot it immediately. You can also pass immediately if you happen to see someone, All right, or you can just drive to, to the basket right, right away, no one is stopping you. You get five times. And if you go three for five, all right, if you go three for five, you get five more. But if you go two for five or one for five, are zero for five, you are cut off. You can't do it anymore, you're done. I don't care if it's a wide open fast break layup. All right? If the first time that you touched the ball, you drove in and you missed the layup five times, you're done. Now you must wait until the second time. You can still shoot, you can still drive, you can still pass, but you must wait until the second time or the third time. You've lost your first pass privileges, all right? So at this pace, again, just a rule of thumb. If someone falls down in front of you and you're 0 for 5 and you have a wide open shot, go ahead, go ahead and take it. But as a rule of thumb, 
This will get you the best possible shots. This will provide you the best possible pace if everyone's doing it. It does become problematic when you have people on your team who will just shoot the first shot that they see no matter what as you're trying to be patient. Yes, the whole team has to be in on it. But if you guys can go at this pace, it'll be very, very annoying for the defense. And you're going to get some great shots. Now, I forced the team to do this before. And I told them if they didn't do this, I'd make them do push-ups, I'd call a timeout, all this stuff. Right? I finally got them to buy in. We were down by 20. And I, I, they finally bought in to not taking the first shot or the second shot. And I said, pass the ball around like 15 times or whatever. right? And I had the bench players count how many times they had an open shot. Because these guys were mad that, that they had to do that. So I called a timeout afterwards. They finally did it. They passed the ball about 20 times in possession. And I said, now, how many shots did you pass up? And they very angrily said, at least seven. Now I said, now, did those seven shots come on the first pass or the second or the third? And they were like, well, no. Well, I said, well, well, when did those shots come? They were like, like the 11th pass. You will get the greatest shots ever if you can be patient. So this is our rule, 0, 50, 100. The first time that you touch the ball, don't shoot it, don't drive, don't pass. Just swing the ball easily. Second time, 50% of the time, do one of those three things. The third time, 100%, just go. At that pace, you can be a great basketball player and have a great team. 0, 50, 100. Thanks.